Hi everyone, this is Jane here from Crystal Sparkles Readings. Um, but just here to pop down your card of the day on this Thursday, um, 16th of February, I think. Um, apologies for not being here yesterday, just ran out of time. Okay, so I'm just going to have a little shuffle and pop down this little card for the day. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so the card I've got for the day is the lovely, lovely Knight of Cups. Now, Knight of Cups is, of course, one of the people cards. And we've spoken about them before, representing actual people. This would be a water sign, a young person, sort of between the ages of sort of 18 to 30. So quite a, a young adult. I would say and the knight of cups traditionally is kind of a true romantic okay he's kind of the guy who turns up as in the picture here with the with the um with the flowers and his his heart on his sleeve and kind of very open romantic um would have been a perfect card for um february the 14th but our february the 14th card was very different um so this is almost saying really that I I saw something the other day that somebody had written and I felt this was really quite interesting and quite um, nice to, a nice way to think about it. Um, it's that like romance is for every day of the year. It's not just for February the 14th. So this card is saying it's a day where you are um, likely to be in touch with your emotions um it is a day where you might find yourself feeling very romantic somebody might be coming forward to you with an offer of romance somebody um around you might suddenly turn up with hearts and flowers and chocolates and stuff so it is about um that kind of energy it's a really lovely loving uh, just out there energy okay it's, it's not it's not somebody who's kind of afraid to just come out and tell you that they absolutely adore you this is somebody who is more than happy to do that so in terms of the card today it's a day where you are likely to um be receiving offers and it doesn't have to just be a romance it can be somebody offering to help you out <coughs> You know drive you somewhere maybe or, or help you out go get your shopping for you or something if you're rushing you haven't got time to do things it's somebody who really comes in and puts you first rather than them and it's one of those energies that is it's a lovely lovely energy if you like a little bit of um romance it's very romantic it's just really warm and fuzzy it's a lovely lovely card so it looks like today thursday and into Friday, because um, I'm aware I do these cards quite late in the day, and they last sort of 24 hours. So this is an energy that goes into tomorrow as well. Um, so, you know, if you if you kind of like that nice, soft energy, um, kind of going with the flow, and it's all watery and lovely, then this is a great card. I'm just going to pop down one of the um, energy oracle cards just to go with this card um, and see what we've got here let's have a look okay so this is a card of um, this is called adjacent possibilities this is a card that asks you not to be too focused on one thing and one thing only but to have an open mind um quite often what happens to us when we get very focused on one thing is we miss all the other opportunities that there are around us and it's it's human nature and if you do it you're not on your own um but it's we can get very blinkered i want to say and it, whilst it's good to have a mission and have a, have a kind of purpose and have a goal, you know, don't focus so heavily on your goals that you're just excluding everything else that goes on around you. It's really important um, 
when this card comes up to be open to other ideas other suggestions other people you know this could be saying that you're so focused on one person maybe an ex or something um that you're missing this guy you know you're missing this guy step forward for you um so when i get those that adjacent possibilities card it it's it's always just about keeping an open mind not being so blinkered not being so channeled down one route that you can't see anything else you know it's like not being able to see the wood for the trees you just you know it's about just being open-minded and keeping your heart and your mind open so that when and if somebody steps forward that's unexpected you're not kind of so focused on one thing that you don't notice them they it also comes up for me a lot this when we're talking about jobs okay um so it's one of those cards that is often saying that even though you think you can only do one thing you know maybe you've been a nurse all your life um you kind of get very in that role and in that place and you kind of don't give yourself credit for being able to learn something new or have belief in yourself that you could learn something new so you kind of just keep plodding on with it even though you don't particularly like it anymore um and you don't really kind of open your heart and mind to the possibility that there might be something else okay it's the same with romance we, we might be plodding on with something that we know really isn't right but it is what we know and it is quite comfortable um we often get comfortable in our uncomfortableness if that makes sense in our discomfort rather that sorry that was terrible english um but you know we we might carry on doing a job that we hate just because we know it and we might carry on being with a person that we know is not right for us just because we know them and you know it's better the devil you know and all of that stuff um so the adjacent possibility card asks us to be a little bit more open-minded than that and you know if something is not quite right maybe be open to doing something else you know different career different jobs different people um different route when you walk to work different coffee shop different sandwich at lunchtime it's about being open to different things and changes and and just you know just being open to the universe and what it's got to offer because it's got so much to offer and quite often we get quite stuck with what we have um just because it's easy um and it's safe to us so I, that's all i would offer you today on those two cards they are really i love those cards actually i really i love the adjacent possibilities cards these are really lovely these energy oracle cards if you um fancy an oracle card for a change instead of um tarot they're by a lady called sandra and taylor and they just are i use them a lot on these blogs and these vlogs and i use them a lot in my personal readings and stuff for people as well um but they really are beautiful cards i love them love them to bits um so anyway as i was saying i've wandered off onto a tangent again as usual i will leave those with you just keep an open mind today be open to offers from people be open to different possibilities um be open to the universe it's kind of like about throwing your arms open to the universe and just saying come on then give me good stuff um that's that's really all it's about i will leave that with you i'll be back again tomorrow to do another card for the day everybody have a good day and i will speak to you then bye for now